Right. We're keeping them waiting. So we're worth waiting for, aren't we? You will. I hope you like what I wrote. It was really hard for me to write down what I feel in my heart. Nothing you can say can be better than what you just told me. I just hope I can get my vows right without embarrassing you. <laughs> I, mean, I, I kept trying to practice and rehearse them in front of the mirror, but it came out all gibberish. Oh. <laughs> Finally, I had to write them down. Honey, come on now. You speak before board meetings and leaders of industry, practically heads of state. Yeah, but this is important. Have I told you <sighs> how gorgeous he looked tonight? Thank you. But you know what? No one's going to be looking at me. Not with the most beautiful bride in creation walking down the aisle. <laughs> Jack, Brenda isn't in her room. Uh, um... Are you guys crazy? Don't you know this is bad luck? <laughs> you couldn't wait five minutes. Oh, come on. We're already married. Besides, we have enough luck for men. Mm -hmm. Whatever, you guys. I'm sorry, hello, but I'm going to have to go downstairs and tell everyone that you guys broke the rules. Don't worry. <sighs> um, isn't there a caveat about this? Yeah. We're ignoring it. Oh. Okay. So, are you ready to be walked down the aisle? Actually, no. I'm not. I simply want our boy happy and getting on with his life. Now, I've been married to you since the dawn of time, remember? What are you covering up? Something terrible has happened. I tried to stop them, but what? they would not what? Wait, what? Emily, Emily, just, just slow down a little bit. Take a deep breath and tell us what happened. Brenda was with Jax in his room. That's bad luck. You're the ones that told me that. I told them and they just laughed at me. Well, you've done your duty as a bridesmaid and I would just let the chips fall with Amy. Alan. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure they had their reasons. What the devil is keeping them then? I don't know, but the last thing I heard Brenda say is that she wasn't ready to be walked down the aisle. Oh. When I asked you to give me away, it was because I don't really belong to anyone to give. I'm mine to give. As am I. Jack and I are going to walk each other down the aisle. You're not hurt, are you? I think it makes all the sense in the world. I still want you to stand up for me, though. If you want to. I'll be honored. Meet you by the minister. Okay. Two minutes. Keep making her happy. Shall we? Let's do it. Right? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll just go up and see what's keeping them. What is it? Don't tell me the woman's changed her mind. Not a chance. Why? Were you worried? Oh. I, um, I sort of told them that things seemed a little iffy up there. Trust me. I've never seen a couple more willing to tie, or I should say, retie the knot. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yes, the groom did see the bride in her dress, and they say, so what? <laughs> and to be even more untraditional, they decided to walk themselves down the aisle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Believe me, there's absolutely nothing that could stop them. Mac. 
Do you think maybe we could call a truce until after the ceremony? What is it? I don't know. It's something. Something I haven't felt in a long time. 